everybody. It's Dana Martin, community producer for Anarchapulco, and I am joined here today with a friend of mine and somebody I'm so excited for you to meet if you don't know her. This is my friend, Catherine Bleich. How are you, Catherine? Hi, I'm great. I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. Me too. So um, I just thought we could have a casual discussion about Anarchapulco and the exciting news, the super exciting news that you are now uh, in charge of managing the health and wellness center, the whole health and wellness space. It's so exciting. I'm so, so happy for you. So um, I'd love for you to share a little bit um, what this, what the health and wellness center meant for you last year and why you're so excited to take it on this year. Okay. Yeah. So last year was my first experience with Anarchapulco. I had never been, I'd been wanting to go for years and years and I just decided like, this is going to happen. I'm going, nothing's getting in my way. And I felt very called to be at the event. And I was invited to speak in the health and wellness portion. I didn't really understand the distinction between the two other than this was something happening ahead of time. The focus was health and wellness. And so I was able to attend all of that. And my ex-husband watched our children during that time period. And then during Anarchapoco itself, I was watching the kids and he was attending the talks and things which worked out great for me because I had the most transformational experience ever. I was completely blown away and transformed by all of the new experiences that I was having. I got to try acro yoga. I did combo this um, healing ceremony that helped my body to detox a really strong spider venom that I had been dealing with for two years on the two year anniversary of the spider bite. And I mean, I just, I started losing weight really rapidly after the health and wellness event last year. And I met so many amazing people from all around the planet and they were all food conscious and body conscious and environmentally aware, just really vibing on the same frequency as me. And that's been a little bit of a problem for me in the movement, so to speak, because a lot of the conferences I go to are very masculine. I'm the only person there with children or one of very few. And this was just a completely different experience for me. I felt like I was with my people for the first time ever. You know, I mean, just on every single level, I was able to vibe with the attendees at Health and Wellness. Every single workshop I attended, it was just mind-blowing information. I had been wanting to learn about Tantra. I got to attend Tantra workshops and um, just really, really do a lot of work on myself. And it was so inspiring that we decided to come live in Acapulco for six months. And we're here right now. I mean, you can see the surfboards <laughs> on the wall behind me. Like, we're in Acapulco. We radically changed our lives. And for me, it was because of the health and wellness portion of the event. Wow. Yeah. I can remember you actually, like I'm having so many memories flood, uh, flood over me as I'm hearing you. I remember you coming up to me at the event last year and being like, oh my gosh, my life has changed. This is the most amazing experience ever. And yeah, I mean, you and I have known each other for a long time. I mean, back when your kids were tiny little babies, we connected. Little babies. Oh, still yeah. breastfeeding. Yeah. And you spoke at uh, my event that I had in Texas and oh my goodness. Yeah. So we have a long history of, of connection and friendship and to have you in this role working with me um, is going to be so incredible working with our team. So our team is like really amazing this year. And um, the decision to add you to it was, was such an amazing one. So um, yeah, I felt the same way about a lot of the health and wellness. I couldn't take part in much of it last year because I was really busy with what I was doing, but what I saw was pretty, pretty amazing. And, and what you're saying, you know, I think the health and wellness portion really is kind of the missing link for a lot of like people in the movement. I do because it's like one more piece of unchaining yourself. You know, we unchain ourselves from the state and we're unchaining ourselves from mundane jobs, mundane lives. And, and so the health and wellness portion gives us more freedom, um, more ability to be healthy. Well-being is everything. You know, I, I wrote an article this week that's, that's out today and it's called uh, Well-Being is the Enemy of the State. And so ooh, I, ooh, I like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's really true. And so, I mean, you're, you're, you're heading that up along with the, so um, Catherine, I can't tell you who's speaking yet, but we're going to be announcing in a couple weeks who's speaking some good, good stuff there. And we can't wait to share mm -hmm. with you. So we still have to reveal like who's speaking at the health and wellness 
And uh, yeah, so, and who's speaking at the Advocacy Center. So we have a lot of good stuff coming out still. Um, what are you most looking forward to this year and being in this new role? I am most looking forward to watching other people's lives transform. Yes, now that I know. Like, we love that. I'm so excited. I'm so I mean, excited. like, I just feel like, like, last year set the bar for me. It's like, okay, this is real. I mean, like, everything has changed about my life. My health is completely different, radically different. I mean, I, I'm doing yoga four days a week right now on this, at this beachfront property. And I feel like I own myself right now. You know, like I own myself, I own myself in a way that I never have before. And it feels so good. And just to have been given access to the tools for that, you know, it's like, I felt like health and wellness was, here's the keys, you know, and it's like, it's really up to you. Are you going to put them in the ignition and are you going to like take control and grab the wheel or just keep floating along, you know, with, with the way things are going now. And for me, it was like, I saw so much opportunity and so many ways to integrate the things I was learning into my everyday life. I just grabbed it. I was like, I want this forever. <laughs> so I think that we can all do this together for people who are struggling with chronic illnesses or emotional issues, relationship issues, like whatever is going on. This is a place where we can sit down and really start working on the things that are restricting us because truly well-being is the enemy of the state. It doesn't matter if you know you you figured out the financial stuff and the political stuff, but if if you are sick and dependent and can't take care of yourself, you are very easy to control, <laughs> you know? And so yeah, if, when, you, true. when you take ownership of yourself, it just, it changes everything. Yeah, it's another level of freedom, like freedom from, you, you know, unchaining your health, freedom from health, freedom from the, the medical establishment, freedom from pills. I mean, everybody's prescribed pills yeah. nowadays. So there's going to be so many wonderful alternatives to the way that people are treated for a chronic illness. I mean, and just everyday illnesses. So one thing really cool this year that we've added on for an addition, and I'm so excited to share it, is we're going to have a clinic. So it's going to be such a great thing, this alternative clinic for people to be able to come. And there's going to be practitioners um, from all different walks of, you know, all different styles of health and wellness that are going to be there. And we're putting a call out today. Um, we did the other day too, to practitioners. So if you're a practitioner, if you, um, what are some practitioners that we might be looking for that you think would be great to have? I think it would be great to have all sorts of modalities, whether it's acupuncture, massage, um, chiropractors. I mean, what do you have to offer out there? There's things that we don't even know about. It could be sound therapy with singing bowls or, I mean, so I've tried all these crazy, I don't think they're crazy, but all these things because I got bit by this spider, right? And I had to go through all of these different things. There's ozone therapy, you know, you can do that cryogenic therapy. There's just so many ways to, to start moving your body in the direction of healing. And if you offer something like that, we want you, we want you, we want you, we want you. Exactly. And, and it's going to be, there's going to be limited spaces. And I think it's going to be really popular, like osteopathy. I think we have an osteopath that connected with us. We have, and, and this is probably one of the avenues in which people really, really want to be part of um, that because so many people in a, a, a higher elevation, like um, higher consciousness movement are really drawn to anarchy. So it's really interesting. It's like two worlds are coming together now. You know what I mean? It's like we're, we're introducing so many people with alternative health and wellness to anarchy itself saying, hey, if you've already freed yourself of, of health and wellness, come see where else you can free yourself by coming to Anarchapulco. So it really is the merging of so many different communities coming together. And that's why I always like to say that Anarchapulco is so diverse. It's such a diverse group of people. It's such a diverse community that um, your, your people are there. You will find them. Your people, your people are there. They're definitely there. And, and, and people you wouldn't know were your people because the whole globe is migrating to Acapulco at the same time. And, you know, in the United States, I've been to all the Liberty events and they're great and I love them. 
but I am not used to meeting people from every continent. And so, you know, just standing in a circle and realizing, wow, that person's from New Zealand and that person's from England and that person lives in Belgium. And it's just, it's mind blowing the, the geographic diversity that is showing up for this event. I had no idea that freedom was such a popular global idea until I got to Anarchapoco. I felt like it was busting out of my bubble for me. To, I, I'd never left the United States except for like a short day trip across the border in Canada and a bus across the border with my parents in, in Mexico. Like, it, you know, and I'm talking like four hours tops having crossed the border. This is before you needed passports or anything. So this was, I really felt like I, I, I busted out of this cage that my mind had been trapped in called the United States. And I was invisible lines, you know, these borders that are all, we're all just on this planet together. And I think when you're at Anarchapulco, I think that we have like 50 to a hundred countries represented there. I think it was 50 last year. And so, so it's growing. We have people coming from every corner of the globe and it's Anarchapulco is going to be this like major vortex. Like last year we had the earthquake. There was so many people, uh, we joke around saying like, oh yeah, it was just this energy vortex. Of course there was an earthquake. So what's going to happen this year? You know, it's, um, it's twice as big and hugely powerful this year. So it's, it's going to be a really special place to be, but you know, I love what you're saying about busting, busting free and, and meeting people from other countries because so we're both parents, you and I, we're both unschooling parents. Um, our kids haven't been to school. We've parented them uh, peacefully. And I love that our kids can attend Anarchopoco and meet people from all over the world. What better education? What better social connection? What better experience for our children than to be at an event where there's no age segregation, where they're welcome with, with open arms with, by 3,000 people saying, welcome home. <laughs> Welcome home. It's so great when our children can be introduced to people from all different cultures and we're going to have artisans, uh, local artisans, uh, doing part in their their crafts and it's going to be just a really awesome experience for families, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's part of what made us want to come stay down here for six months and we've actually, we've decided we're doing it again next year as well for six months because the experience that our children are having here in Acapulco, I mean, not just in Acapulco, but Acapulco is phenomenal and watching our children start to integrate Spanish into their vocabulary. I mean, it's, it's profound and it's beautiful. And, you know, to speak to the children and the earthquake last year, I was in the child area when the earthquake happened and they had the children evacuated and accounted for before I even understood that an earthquake was taking place. And the kids had so much fun last year with just the, they, you know, it was a small activity kind of, I mean, not tiny, but you know, it was a decent sized room. And this year there's going to be so much more for them to do. You know, I just, I'm really excited to be able to expose them to that because you know, rethinking everything is an unschool event. It was where I met you. You organized the one and the kids had so many activities and so many different things to do. And that's a place where I feel like it's very niche. And so to be able to provide that experience to the children at a conference, that's not just unschooling, right? This is like huge economic conversations and huge philosophical conversations. And to be able to expose them to all of these ideas and, and, and to just have them around so many people that are inspired and excited and going through these, you know, mind blowing revelations and just life changing transformations all together in one spot. It is so powerful. And I feel so blessed that my children are able to participate in it and that I get to watch. I mean, I was telling you, Dana, that like this was, one of the first times ever that I didn't feel like I was hovering over my kids because they were so integrated with the other little anarchist children. And, you know, they had their own little world going on to where I, you know, I didn't feel like I had to entertain them where other conferences, I often feel like I'm, you know, in the lobby, like trying to like, you know, like their speakers talking, but this was so different. They were truly a part of it. Like you were saying, there's no age segregation and, um, 
I mean, can you just imagine having been exposed to all these ideas at such a young age? Like, what would our world be like? I know. Well, we're going to find out. Like? We'll find we'll find out soon because both of our, you know, our families have been grown up on the conference circuit. I have four kids, um, I, one of which is an adult now that has grown up going to conferences since he was five years old. So it's we're, we're seeing the results of it now <laughs> with these free kids, which is great. You know, and it's really awesome this year because we bought out the hotel. So we have the entire hotel property. Um, for all of our, you know, all of the attendees, for our kids, and um, me planning this. So, so me being who I am and that I've run unschooling conferences and peaceful parenting events like all over the world, me bringing that here. So we're literally having a peaceful parenting conference within Anarchopoco. That's what the Free Your Family Camp is. So it's going to be like everything that you've loved that you've attended at this, those past events at our event this year. So we have um, we have a gamers dungeon, we're calling it, where kids can go and, you know, bring their laptops and they can game together because that's a really uh, big mode of connection for kids nowadays. Um, for some kids, we have a crafting room where we're going to have all different crafts, like hands-on, cool projects for them to do and learn about local culture um, and, and just other crafts and stuff. We're going to have a um, dress-up space. There's going to be speakers. We have a Free Your Family Camp stage, which you're speaking on. You're speaking on the family. Yes, camp. Hey, tell, tell us about that a little bit. Yeah, so I, I've been unschooling my kids. Um, thank you for that because um, you're a big reason that their father began to kind of like, okay, maybe we can do this unschooling thing. You know, I'm like showing him YouTube videos and things and, and he, he was a little hesitant at first and um, it took some coaxing, but we've been doing it and it has been absolutely amazing to witness and to watch. and to to really try and walk the walk and allow these human beings to be sovereign and of course protect them and you know make sure that that they're safe but to give them the freedom to truly be themselves and to see how they're able to articulate for themselves and how they're not afraid of authority figures because they've they've never looked at adults as authority figures. So they don't have fear of, you know, teachers or cops or anything like that. They see people as people no matter what their age is. And that's something I always thought was possible, but to see a five and a seven-year-old greet little tiny children and teenagers and adults the same way, just with this openness and this love and, and to see how powerful it is to, to keep their trust intact, their trust of humanity, it has been so powerful for me. And I, I feel like they're my teachers, truly. You know, they are showing me how to be human and, and how to express myself. And they're showing me how it's done when you're not damaged. And, Many of us in this society are damaged, and it, it might be because of media or teachers or parents, wh whatever it may be, many of us have experienced trauma in this society, in this culture that we're growing up with, you know, such oppression. And, and to witness the undamaged representation of that, and, 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 and of course, my children have had traumas too, but to be able to move through those with them in this really authentic way and to see how quickly healing really can happen if you're given the space and the love and, and the time and just the freedom to, to, to go through life as real as possible and I feel really passionate about sharing this with other people because I think children deserve their freedom <laughs> they really do and yeah. Yeah. they're the ones who control whether they have it or not so I'm really excited to be talking on the family camp stage I love that you have created that this year and I just I, I feel like they are the path to liberty in our lifetime on every level not just politically I'm talking every level, spiritually, health, art, all of it. Yeah, wow, that was really beautiful. You know, kids come to this life really naturally. It's nothing that we have to do to kids to get them to be on this path. It's what we have to do for ourselves and, and becoming aware of what to do instead of the authoritarian parenting paradigm. Like, what do you do instead of that? 
well, people know what they don't want to do. They don't want to, you know, generally come into this life, come into this community, this movement. They know they don't want to punish. They don't want to be punitive. But a lot of times parents don't know what to do instead. And that's so important. And so that's what the family camp will give people or are the tools of what to do instead. How do you replace the authoritarian paradigm? There, there are ways that you need to go about this and the support that you need to have to know how to approach things based on everybody's needs mattering equally and not just the adults. So there's going to be speakers on all different aspects of parenting, which is so great, and, and education, not just unschooling, because not everybody's ready to take it that radical like, like we have, which I don't think it's radical, but hey. <laughs> I think this is the most natural way to live, but, but, you know, yeah, it feels pretty cool to me. Yeah. And so like David Rodriguez is a good friend of mine. Uh, we met at the very first Anarcho Poco. He's, he's going to be speaking about, um, different educational alternatives and sharing about John Taylor Gatto. So David and I are working on projects, uh, with John Taylor Gatto. David is John Taylor Gatto's protege. Um, and so we're really focused on bringing his energy and his, um, you know, gratitude for his work to the family camp this year, which is really special to us. And um, something else that we're having, we're having a, a listening room, which I think is kind of really cool. And my goodness, the only reason I even thought of this is because I wished I had one so many times at events. So, you know, a lot of times moms are there or dads with little kids and you're, you're just kind of stuck in the kid's space or you feel like you might be because your kids want to stay. And um, so we're having the main stage presentations, uh, you know, live streamed to a special room in the family camp. So parents could be up there and, and watching the main stage while, while their kids are with them. And we're also having another viewing room like that downstairs, a huger one actually, um, near the main stage. So there's going to be two family viewing rooms. And the one downstairs isn't just for families. It's for people that just, if you want to be social while there's talks going on. So I, I really, really love that our team's created these other alternative spaces for families and, and different people to meet different needs that can all take part in seeing the main stage presentations. Not only that, but we're recording them all. So you won't miss these main speakers. So if you, if you see the schedule and you're hearing all of these amazing things that are happening and you're worried that you're not going to see all the main stage presentations, don't worry. There's so many ways you, you will get to see them all. But yeah, so um, yeah, I'm grateful that you're speaking. Uh, it's funny. It's kind of hard for me to be honest that I'm not speaking in the family camp because this is my baby. I, you know, the Free Your Family Camp is something I created, you know, the first Dan Arcopoco and it's been, you know, where I've spoken. And I had to really sit long and hard to think who could replace my work, who could replace speaking about what I talk about. And you came to my mind that mm -hmm. Catherine, she can do it. I believe in her. I know she can do it. And she's going to be able to promote this message um, in such a beautiful way because she's living it and she believes in it. So it's almost like passing the baton to you, <laughs> mama, saying, here you go. You know, I'm, I'm speaking on the main stage. I'm doing my main stage gig and I can't wait because of what I'm speaking about this year is really powerful, a huge evolution in my life um, of parenting and um, just life in general. Really, I'm, I, have, I have teenagers now. It's so different than when my kids were little. So I'm going to share my journey with that. And it's going to be really awesome. I hope. That's fingers crossed. I think it is. I think it's going to be great. And I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm really excited to just hear because I'm following, you know, in your journey with the age of my children and, um, you know, sometimes I feel like my seven-year-old is already turning into a teenager. <laughs> well, when there's no age segregation, it's interesting, isn't it? Because the kids just, a lot of times the things that children will say will sound like an adult saying it because kids are so dumbed down in our culture that they're not able to be like that. And so there's times my kids, little would, would when they were really little, would say something and I'd be like, wow, that sounded like an adult saying it. Now, it's really fascinating, isn't it? Be when there's no age segregation and children aren't in the authoritarian paradigm, they're just human beings. Yeah. And when children, children are meant to sound the way your daughter spoke. Yeah, She's yeah. not meant to be dumbed down. She's not meant to be. I mean, of course, they're, they're going to be kids too and sound like kids. Just like, I think I sound like a kid sometimes. Oh, I definitely do. <laughs> yeah, every day. <laughs> yeah. And I love it because we're, we're getting back, we're healing from our own upbringing, you know, a lot of us. And that's part of the journey for the family camp too. You know, it's a really important piece. You and I talked really briefly about that, like the, um, like the family, you know, adverse trauma, childhood trauma and people healing from that is essential to be able to parent this way. So we're going to have support for that too. And I think reparenting yourself is a really important focus. So, all right, Catherine, well, I think that we've covered just about everything you're doing this year. What do you I think? think? So. Yeah. Who knows? It's, you know, every year it's going to expand more and more. And I say everything you're doing, it's, you're doing so much. 
You're doing so much. It's crazy. Uh, well, I'm really, really grateful that you came on to share with everybody your role um, with the Health and Wellness Center. And I, we're, we've just really begun really digging in deep with that. So we're going to have so much fun together, like planning all of this and you along with the team. Um, and then the family camp too. So, you know, I might even get your kids' opinions about a few things that I'm having up in the family camp because kids have the best ideas. Oh yeah. Oh, I'm sure you could get some out of mine. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I could. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. So if anybody wants to, gosh, Anarchapulco tickets, I think we have some left. We're not sold out yet, but I would definitely like jump on this because this year the health and wellness and the family camp that we've been talking about are all included in the main ticket. How amazing is that? That's huge. Last year, both were separate. And this yep, year, yep. included. So it's like yeah. it's an amazing, amazing deal. So I encourage people to Definitely sign up. Definitely worth it. It's worth it to make sure you're able to attend. Because if you are looking to have a life-changing, absolutely transformational experience like I had, and I'm telling you, I have been to every Liberty conference there is to go to. And what I experienced at Anarchapoco, you can only experience at Anarchapoco, and you need to come. We want you there. Oh, awesome, Catherine. It's that there couldn't be a better end to this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if tickets are on sale, just go to anarchapoco.com. If you have any questions, you can email me or message me anytime, Dana at anarchapoco.com. And I look forward to seeing you guys all soon. Peace, love, anarchy.